Hey y'all, let's take a look at perimeter. That's the general term for the distance around any figure. Circles have a specific, uh, specific name for their perimeter. We'll talk about that in a second. But look at this perimeter, uh, look, find the perimeter of this figure, and uh, you notice there are two sides missing. Which two sides? That side's missing here, right? And also this side right there. Well, this one's pretty simple. We can just look over and go, well, this side from here to here is nine, so that must be nine as well. This one's a little trickier though, right here to here, right? But we can, we can tell that from here to here is 15, right? And if we go, okay, there's four there and there's three there, well, that would equal seven, which means if you just pull it straight down, you know, it's four here and it's four, excuse me, three there. So from here to here, there's gonna be, have to be 15 minus that seven, which means it's also gonna be the same thing here, so that'll be eight. We won't bother to add those together. You can do that later on once, but let's look at circles. You need to know a couple of things about circles. So again, if you need to pause and write these down, go ahead and pause and make sure you're doing your notebooks and taking your notes and doing your examples like this in your notes. Like in other words, this is three. So you can look back if you need to look at your notes on a certain problem, okay? All right, let's do a couple of things. A radius is a line that goes from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. A diameter is a line that goes through the center of the circle and hits both edges and stops at both edges of the circle. The circumference in Latin circum means around. So circumference means the distance around a circle, okay? And at some point, this is really strange, at some point uh, in history, somebody took a circle and measured the diameter of the circle and went, okay, I'm just gonna stretch this diameter around the circle and see what happens. So let's say they pinned it right there. All right, let me do a different color so you can see it a little bit better, okay. So they pinned the diameter and they stretched it around the circle, of course, keeping right the circle. And they went, oh, it stops right there. I'm gonna take off this pin and I'm gonna pin it right here and twist it around. Oh, it goes around one more time. Look at there, it goes around. Of course, they're keeping real close to the circle, not like I'm doing. Oh, it went around again. Oh, they go, oh, try it again. Oh, it goes around again. Oh, okay, it stopped right there. Okay, so they go, well, it went, it went around there three times. The diamond went, across, uh, went around three times and there's always a little left over and they figured out that amount was about 1.14. All right, it keeps on going and going, but we use that usually as an approximate value. Okay, well, there is a term for this, the number of times a diameter goes around a circle, and it's called pi, and that number is pi, and you represent it like this, and that's the Greek letter pi, okay? So, the circumference of a circle equals pi, or 3.14, 3 times the diameter. You need to memorize that. At least write it down in big numbers and letters in your notes here and circle it or highlight it or something. So when you come back to it, you'll know how to find this quickly, okay? All right, the area of a circle is even more interesting. In other words, when, when you're talking about area, you're talking about the number of squares that will fit into a certain you know, uh, object. Like it's a room, oh, well, how many square feet is this room? You, if it's a rectangle, you'd go, oh, it's 20 feet across and then, uh, you know, 40 feet across, so 20 times 40. Oh, oh, this room is 800 square feet, which means a square foot means a foot times a foot, you know, in a square like that, okay. All right, so that's how you find that. There is a formula for the area of a circle because, you know, good luck trying to draw exact squares here and measure them, like you got, what, a half a square, two thirds of a square? Crazy, okay. So here is the area formula. Make sure you write this down in big numbers and letters and memorize it too. A is equal to, okay, it's pi again, but it's not a D, it's the radius, and not just the radius, but the radius squared. We're gonna square. So make sure you memorize those two formulas, or at least refer back to them over and over until you've got them, which is kind of the Saxon method, okay? So let's to do some examples. The radius of a circle is four centimeters. Well, let's draw it. There's the radius, it's gonna be four. Find the circumference of the circle. Well, we go back and we go, okay, circumference, what's that? Circumference, circumference, pi times the diameter. Okay, so just start off with that. Circumference is pi times the diameter. Let's just go ahead and write 3.14 for pi, and then times the diameter. Well, you tell me, if a radius is four, how long is the diameter? Because that's the diameter, right? So the whole diameter is eight, right? Okay, so we would just write not 3.14 times D, but we'd write it times eight, okay? And you could just sit here and do the multiplication 
shouldn't take you too long, and you get this, you would get 25.12, and you'd go, okay, that is the circumference. In other words, if you have a diameter that is, let's say, eight inches long, then the distance around the circle is going to be, if you measured it, about 25.12 inches long. There we go. All right, let's try another one. The circumference of a circle is 36 feet. Find the radius of the circle. Okay, well, the circumference is 36. So let's just write it. Circumference is 36. Well, what's the formula for circumference again? Um, circumference is, look at your notes, pi times the diameter. And we'll, for our purposes on this problem, we'll kind of approximate here. We'll say pi is about 3. So circumference is about 3 times the diameter, roughly. That won't be perfect, okay? Well, if 3 times the diameter is 36, which is the same thing, right? 3 times the diameter gives us 36. Then to find just one diameter, <coughs> we would divide by 3, right? 36 by 3. So 36 divided by 3 is 12, okay? That's the diameter. But they want the radius. So if the diameter is 12, what's the radius? About 6, right? So the radius would be roughly 6. That'd be good enough for our purposes, for your answer in the book. All right? Let's look at this. Let's find the perimeter of this figure. Now, you might want to copy this down. It is in your book as well. But, uh, you know, look at it on the screen. You can tell what we're going to have to figure out here. Okay? Let's, uh, you know, what's the perimeter of this thing? Let's say, I don't know. Let's say this is your... Let's say this is your prison cell. Your mom caught you not doing the dishes, so she's put you in this prison cell. Here you are, with your hands behind your head, relaxing in your prison cell, 10 feet long, and then, you know, we'll see how long this, <coughs> see how, uh, what the length of this uh, wall is or whatever. Of course, it has all the modern conveniences. There we go. Okay, I got that, all right. And so on. Okay. Anyway. All right. And there's a microwave right there. There's the radiation pouring out of the microwave. Okay. 24 hours a day. All right. The perimeter of this figure. Okay. Hold on. Erase all this stuff here. Okay. Well, we know this is going to the perimeter's distance around it, right? So it's going to be 10 here. Of course, it means it's going to be 10 here as well, right? Now, the, the interesting thing is, how do we find this length right here? Well, if you take that radius and you swing it just like this and swing it to where it's there, that's going to be three, right? And then also, if you swing that radius down here like that, yoink, that'll also be three. So total, that'll be six. So the length of that is six. Now, we want to find the perimeter. We're not interested in this length right here. We want to find from here all the way to here. So, so far, we have 10 plus 6 plus 10. That's 26, all right? We need to find what's the distance. Oh, excuse me. What's the distance around a circle called? The circumference, right? The perimeter of a, cir a circle is called a circumference. Okay. What's the uh, formula for the circumference of a circle? Well, remember, it's the circumference is pi times the diameter. All right. The only weird thing is we don't have a whole circle to do this with. Okay. We just have a half of a circle. Well. What's half of a diameter called? Radius, right? So if we want to find this semicircle, the perimeter, we would just take this, the circumference would be pi, not times the diameter, but times the radius, right? Okay. Well, the radius we know is 3. Okay. We have an approximate value for pi. You tell me, what's the approximate value of pi? 3.14 and then times 3, because we only have a half a circle. So 3.14 times 3, if you did the arithmetic, would be 9.42, okay? Then you would just add those two and get 35.42, and that is the distance around that figure. Okay. All right, how about this figure? Oof, even more fun. Again, it's in your book, so you can look in your book or here, all right? Well, let's at least do what we have. We can figure out what we have. We can use the same trick on this little radius, swings up there, and that's five swings down there and is also 5, which means this side over there is 10, okay? All right, we need to find this side over here. Well, we know part of it is 6, and if we swing right there, that part's going to be 4. 
And if we swing right there, that part's going to be 4. So from here to here is 8 plus 6, which means this side is 14. Okay. So we have the 10, we have the 14, we have the 6. Those are all the straight lines. Now we just need to go to finding those half circle uh, perimeters again. And don't forget, the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. In this case, since they're half circles, we won't be using a diameter. We'll be saying, you know, half the diameter, which we can just call a radius for these. All right, well, let's figure out what this is. The radius is 4, so the circumference is pi. Let's go ahead and do the uh, 3.14, and then times 4. Okay, and if you were to do the arithmetic, that would be 12.56. So that part's 12.56. This one here, we would say exactly the same thing. The distance from here to here, usually it's pi times the diameter. That's a whole circle. This is only a half a circle, so we'll do pi times the radius. All right, well, what is the radius? 5. So let's just go ahead and do 3.14 times 5. Oops, I put the line too fast. Times 4, so that'll be 14.70. To get the entire perimeter, we would just add this to this to 6 to 10 to 14. We won't bother to do that. So that's how you find it. All right. Okay, there are five practice problems. So go ahead and pause it. And let's try the practice problems. And uh, when you're finished with all of them, unpause it. And let's come together and look at it. Okay, the answer of A would be 10 and 10 and 5 and 5. That would give you 30. <clears throat> okay, B, the perimeter of a square is 12 meters. What's the length of one side? Well, a square has all sides of the same length, so it's 12 divided by 4 or just 3. Okay, well, let's take a look at C together. <coughs> Excuse me. We're missing some sides here, of course. We're missing this side right there, and we're missing this side right there. Well, we know this is going to be 2, right? And we know from here to here, let's see. From here to here is 12. From here, I mean, adding those two sides up top is going to be 6. <coughs> Excuse me. So this will also be 6 right here. So to add all of those sides all together will give us, it won't give us that. Let's see. 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 6 is going to be 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 21, 26, and then 38. So C is going to be 38. Okay. D will give us 10 pi. The question for D is the radius of the circle is 5. That means the diameter is 10. So the circumference will be 10 times pi, which is about 3.14. So 10 times 3.14 is 31.4. Okay. E is this over here. Let's figure this out. All right. Again, if you swing this radius, this is a 3, and you swing it down here, and it's still a 3. So over here, we're going to have 6. This will be 6 as well. So we have 18 to start off with. 6, 6, and then 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, well, we need to find a distance, the perimeter from here to there. Okay, and we know the formula for circumference of a whole circle is pi times the diameter. We only want a half a circle this time. So let's go ahead and know. Nope, I'm not doing that. I'm doing pi times the radius. <clears throat> well, what is the radius? It's 3. Okay, pi times 3. So we'll, we'll just times 3. Well, pi is 3.1, oops, 1, 4 times 3. And if you did the arithmetic, that would be 9.42. <coughs> Excuse me. So you'd have 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 18, plus 9.42, which would give you 27.42. And there you go. Okay. All right. You guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. Take care.